In this video, I want to show you how you can use a column chart to highlight all values below a certain target and above a certain target in Power BI, which makes it really easy to see if a target was hit or not. So this is what I see a lot. You have the target and you have, uh, for example, sales value, and they're next to each other every month. But it's quite hard to read, especially if you're looking at all months. And I mean, we could change it to, for example, a line and clustered column chart where we have the value and the target is a line, but still it's quite hard to see what's going on. And I just want visual cues that make it easier. We can fix this with two simple DAX measures. The first one is if the current value, for example, the sales value is lower than the target, I want to see the current value. But if it's higher than the target, I want to see the target value. So what this does is it will create a value and it will end at the target uh, value. This is what we want because this will be everything below the target. It's either the target was hit and there will be something added above or it will end there. So there comes our second measure, which is if the current value is bigger than the target, so we hit the target and there's more there. We want the current value minus the target, which gives us everything between target was hit and the value. And otherwise we want this to be blank because we don't want anything added if the, the target was not hit. So we have two DAX measures. One is below target, the other one is above target. And now if we put them together, what you can see is that well, they're stacked perfectly. They show us this value. Uh, I put in the target line there too, so you can see it. And what we now can do is we can give them different colors, for example. I colored everything below the target gray and everything above the target like blue greenish. Something important here, don't forget to add data labels. And with data labels, I mean the total labels at the top. Something else I did is I adjusted the legend so it shows uh, the lines and the markers, which makes sure that, the, for example, the target line is shown as like this dotted line in the legend. Really easy for your end user, handy for your end user. 